Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and welcome to Kanto Cup. This cup features Pokemon from the first generation whose CP is 1500 and under. And this cup is something I've been excited about ever since it was announced. The little cup wasn't personally my favorite, but this one I feel has a really interesting and diverse meta. For this particular cup, I did want to run a double dragon team. I think that has a lot of potential. So the team I decided on was a Magneton lead. I safe swap into Dragonair to draw out any dragon counters. And then I have Dragonite as my closer. And honestly, it went super well. I live streamed these battles earlier today and went 18, six and one. So here are some of the best battles I had from that live stream. And just before we hop into the video, I do want to give a big shout out to a small content creator whose content I really enjoy. Chillis FM is a Pokemon Go battle content creator who makes really interesting lines and really great videos. So if you guys are looking for someone else to add to your subscription list, definitely check him out. Link will be in the description and tell him that home slice sent you. All right, let's hop into these battles. Right, and we're hopping into the first battle here and these battles are taken from the very first day of Kanto Cup and so some players may not have Pokemon quite maxed out yet or like for me I don't have a second move on my Dragonite yet but I still wanted to get these out because this team did perform beyond my wildest dreams it did really well so we say swap into Dragonair they counter with Alolan Raichu and Alolan Raichu is very spammy but it is very very glassy as you can see those Dragon Breaths are absolutely chunking away here and we are going to try and drag and breath it down, it looks like. We're more than likely not going to be able to quite get there. We are going for the Aqua Tail just to see if we can get a shield. And they decide to let it go. So they do give a switch, which is fantastic. And we're going to be throwing an Aqua Tail here. The Aqua Tail, and they bring an Aerodactyl. Wow. Now that's some spice, but Aerodactyl is not going to stand a chance against Magneton. We're going to be able to hit them with a super effective discharge as we'll be taking out the Aerodactyl, which is great. The Hypno does come back in. Let's see what they have. A lot of Hypnos running Thunder Punch, I've noticed so far, and we're going to counter with Dragonite. And we are going to be able to get to the Dragon Claw. And this will get it low, but won't quite KO. They're going to counter with the Charge Move. If it's a Thunder Punch, that's just going to be neutral, and we should be able to farm down. Yep, we can survive that, and they do resign the match. So we are able to take the first game, as you can see. The goal of the team is to safe swap the Dragonair to bait out their Dragon Counter, because most people in this meta are not running two Dragon Counters. So if you can bait out just the one that they have, then you're in a really good spot. Again, terrible lead, safe swap Dragonair, and they bring out a Charizard. So an interesting choice for sure. This is a Fire Spin Charizard, so this is a pretty good matchup for us because we're dealing neutral damage while they are dealing resisted. And as you can see, they're already lower HP than us, so we are going to be able to win this fight. We're going for back-to-back -back Aqua Tails just to get the shields, then we should be able to shield whatever he throws next, and then just farm down the Charizard. We'll be able to shield right here, farm down the Charizard, and we'll have one switch advantage. So now our Magneton doesn't have to see that Marowak. Fantastic. And we are able to go for an Aqua Tail. This is going to land on the Marowak, and it's going to do about half, which is great. So it does get it into the yellow. They're able to farm down. We're going to bring in the Dragonite, basically just to be a lamb to the slaughter at this point. <laughs> we bring it in, and is this the battle they blind throw a Bone Club? No, it's not. Shadow Ball connects. They swap in a Hypno. We're going to counter swap into our Magneton. And here I'm building up quite a bit of extra energy. We'll see what charge move they have. Praying for Thunder Punch, and it's Thunder Punch. A lot of people running double punches. Here, I do make a mistake. The move you want to go for in this situation is the Magnet Bomb. It does do slightly more damage. I do over farm a little bit, so I have some extra energy. Then I go for another Discharge that is going to be taking them out, and we're able to get to a Discharge. So with careful energy management, we were able to take that game. So good game to my opponent there. And we're hopping into the next game here. And I did see quite a few Alolan Marowak leads today, I'll be honest, which is a negative lead. Here's a Dragonite lead. And even in this situation, I do want to swap in the Dragonite just to see if they have a charm where I can bait out. And they get to their Dragon Claw right at the same time that we get to our Aqua Tail. So we're going to shield up and then we're going to throw our Aqua Tail. The Dragonite doesn't really have to shield it, but it's glassy enough that they will shield it. And out comes the Wigglytuff, so switching out was the correct play. Now since one shield is down, we will be able to build up to double Magnet Bombs after we wait out the Switch Clock, and we are going to be able to KO that Wigglytuff. We're at double Magnet Bombs, which is perfect. And 
Let's see if they do decide to use shield. They do, and we're able to stack those back to back so they don't get a charge move off, and this is going to kick out the Wigglytuff, which is fantastic. And Hypno comes back in, and now we have Hypno on our Dragonite. And we are going to be shielding up the charge move from Hypno. It is just a Thunder Punch, so we could have survived that. We're going for a Dragon Claw. And this will be doing some nice chunk damage on the Hypno here. And we are able to farm down, which is fantastic. And then we're going to throw the Dragon Claw onto Dragonite, and that's going to take them out. So we are able to take the game. And as you can see, I mean, the team is working quite well. Dragonair, since it doesn't have any double weaknesses, is a very effective safe swap. Plus, you do have the very hard hitting Dragon Pulse with Stab, as well as the Aqua Tail, just to provide a lot of neutral damage. So here, I do make a bit of a mistake, as this is a Dragon Breath Charizard. I was anticipating Fire Spin, so I safe swapped. If it is Dragon Breath, I believe that's a situation where we do want to stay in. Because they are going to be able to Dragon Breath down before I can get to another Aqua Tail. Here, I'm going to wait the clock, since I did switch out. And we're going to come in with the Magneton, and they swap into a Gyarados. So that is an interesting strategy there swapping a Gyarados into an electric type, but those waterfalls are doing a ton of damage. I catch the crunch onto my Dragonite, since that crunch would have taken out the Magneton. And now I'm in a really good position to farm down the Gyarados, since we do resist the waterfalls. Ivysaur comes out, we're building up some extra energy and going for a Dragon Claw. Once we get to a second Dragon Claw, that will be enough to take out the Ivysaur is perfect. One thing I love about this team, it does exceedingly well against grasses, even against the notorious Shadow Victory Bell. This team handles it exceedingly well. Charizard comes back in. We're going to be able to shield this up. And then just one more fast move should be taking it out for the win, which is fantastic. So we are able to take the game. Hopping into the next match, getting Magneton into Gengar. And here we are safe swapping, and this is Day one, sometimes you'll encounter people with just some interesting teams, and this is one of them there, a best buddied Gengar in the Great League. We go for the Dragon Pulse. Unfortunately, they do shield it up, but as you can see, yeah, some, some players who don't have team quite fully built yet, but that's definitely okay. They go for the Thunder Punch. We shield that up to match shields, and we're going to be going for an Aqua Tail. So we actually get both shields, so that works out well for us. Now we're going to come back in with the Magneton. We're going to shield this up and we're going to presumably over farm some energy and then throw a charge move to take it out. And they actually swap out into the Marowak. So we swap into our Dragonite to catch a Bone Club here. Yes, we are able to catch the Bone Club, which is fantastic. And we're going for the Dragon Claw. So that does connect. And we're able to farm down because they were trying to get to the Shadow Ball and weren't able to do so. Gengar comes back in again with that best buddy ribbon. So it just destroys Shadow Punch because Clips are taking us out. But they're not able to farm down and this Dragon Claw is going to be taking out the Gengar. And they come back in with the Hypno. But we have a Discharge Loaded again. I've learned now, go Magnet Bomb, it's slightly more damaged in this particular matchup. So, in the Hypno matchup, go Magnet Bomb. It does 3%, I think it's like 36% versus 39%. So make sure you go Magnet Bomb in that matchup. Hopping into the next game here, Magneton into Polyrath. This is not a good lead for Magneton, so we're gonna safe swap into our Dragonair. Polyrath is somewhat of a core breaker for this team, to be 100% honest. But as you can see, the Dragon Breaths are adding up quite a bit. We're going to shield up the Ice Punch, and we build up to two Aqua Tails. So we are going to bluff the Dragon Pulse and Bait, and we get a shield, which is fantastic. And we go for a second one, because they're unlikely to shield, but it will still do a nice chunk of damage. And as you can see, that does do a really nice amount of damage, and I'll be able to shield up the, oh, the Power Up Punch. Wow, I haven't seen a Power Up, poly, power up Punch Polyrath in quite a while. But we are still able to bait out the Charmer, which is fantastic. That's why I shielded, because I wanted to bait out the Charmer. Now we just have to build up to two Magnet Bombs, which we're able to get to. And now we'll be able to go back to back, and this is going to be taking out the Charmer. They choose not to shield, that takes them out, which is fantastic. Marowak comes out. We build up to two discharges. Magneton, while being frail, is incredibly spammy. So we get the shield. 
And now we go for the second one. This is going to do a nice chunk of damage to Alola Marowak. And we quick swap into Dragonite to catch a charge move. And we catch another Bone Club. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those uh, swaps were on point today, thankfully. They get to another charge move and they go for the Shadow Bone. We're going to counter with a Dragon Claw. And this is going to be taking out that Marowak. Perfect. And that does give us the game. So as you can see, <laughs> the uh, team worked out better than I could have hoped. I designed it somewhat similarly to the double Dragon Breath team that people were running in Ultra Premier. And I just had to find a steal and Magneton appeared to fit that criteria. We catch an Articuno lead. This is fantastic because Articuno is a great Dragon counter. But since we caught it up front, we're staying in and attempting to beat it straight up. They're going to throw an Icy Wind, we are going to be shielding this up, just because Magneton is incredibly, incredibly frail. So, if you do stay in, you are going to want to expend shields. We are going to double shield here, because if we double up, I'm confident that we can get a shield from them and still throw our second Magnet Bomb to KO and win Switch. So we do get the shield, now we're going for the, the second Magnet Bomb. This is going to be taking out the Articuno. Once they bring in their secondary Pokemon, I'm going to safe swap into my Dragonair just to see if there are any more dragon counters. And the Mew throws a resisted wild charge and switches out into a Sea King. So really nice accidental catch by them there. Man, I hope this is a, a double legacy Sea King. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the Dragon Pulse, so I go for the resisted Aqua Tail on that Sea King. As you can see, those Dragon Breaths are adding up and the Sea King actually decided to throw because they're worried about being taken out and it's a legacy seeking, oh my goodness. So I come in with Dragonite, we are able to farm that down, and then they come back in with the Mew, and I'm able to get to Dragon Claw, and this is going to be taking out the Mew and giving us the game. As you can see, just with the raw power of Dragon Breath, and with Dragonair having a really flexible moveset, this team, I mean, it served me exceedingly well, I'll be honest. So. <laughs> And we're hopping to the next match. And here we, we do catch a decent lead. This is a, I believe that's a water gun Lapras. So this is unfortunately a team composition that you'll see from time to time. But hey, <laughs> we'll see. I do decide to throw just because I don't want to, because I really do not want them to get to throw their energy. They do throw their energy. I am going to be shielding this up and see if I can farm down. This is a team composition that I saw only once today. It was Water Gun Lapras Double Charmer. In this particular situation, there's not really a win con, unfortunately, just because there are two charmers. So at this point, I uh, chat's telling me, hey, it's the Double Charmer team. And so I do end up uh, screen recording freezes for a little bit, but I do end up backing out. So hopping <laughs> into the next game. That is the biggest thing to watch out for is uh, Double Charm teams are basically automatic loss. But besides that, this team has a ton of play against the meta. Here we catch an Alolan Raichu lead. So I do over farm just a little bit and I go for the Magnet Bomb. And they do decide to shield that up. Go for another Magnet Bomb. And even though it is resisted, it's going to do a nice amount of damage. They go for what's presumably the first of two wild charges. I'm going to shield the first, then immediately swap into my Dragonair to catch it. Which is perfect because Dragonair can soak that resisted damage. And we should hopefully still be able to draw out any counters. And they have an Alolan Marowak, so they don't have a like really good dragon counter. So that works for me. I'm able to shield the Shadow Bone, and I'm going for back-to-back -back Aqua Tails. My goal was, was I can expend one shield, but I will be able to do quite a bit of damage. And they actually give me Switch, so that works out great. And they bring in a Shadow Vic, or actually it might be a regular Vic, sorry. Uh, can't quite tell on the screen. <laughs> a Vic regardless. Oh no, that's just a regular Vic. And I'm going to be able to bring in Dragonite, and there's nothing really that Vic can do against Dragonite. They do an amazing sack swap onto Raichu to catch the Dragon Claw, so really nice play by them. But I swap into Magneton to force them to throw their energy. They're going to throw the Sludge Bomb, which they needed for the Dragonite. And then I'm going to be able to farm down with the Dragonite. So as you can see, this team does handle Razor Leapers and Grass types in general exceedingly well. So if, if that's something that you don't want to deal with, I recommend this team. It, it uh, worked pretty well. So, <laughs> up into the next match, we catch the Charmer up front. In this situation, these matchups are very close. I like to build up to two and throw, and I do attempt fast move denial. 
because unfortunately, and they actually let it go. So that works. Now when they bring in their Marowak, I'm gonna say swap into Dragonair. But the line between winning the two and losing the two is very, very thin. So it, it depends on the IVs of the Magnetons. So if you're wanting to replicate this team, definitely, definitely go to PD Poke, enter your IVs, and check out the two shield matchups versus Wigglytuff and versus Clefable to make sure that you, you do win those. Because my Magneton actually does not win the two shields. So that's a bit of a warning I wanted to pass along here. Dragonair is going for the Aqua Tail, and we are able to get the shield. Charge move coming through from the Marowak. Shadow Bone that is going to be taking us out. We're going to come in with the Dragonite and farm all the way down. And what's in back? The Perpetual Hypno. I saw so many Hypnos today. I swear 80% of teams probably had a Hypno. So <laughs> we're going for a Charge Move. Thunder Punch. I can survive that. I quick swap into my Magneton. And we're going to be able to go for the Discharge. Unfortunately, Magnet Bomb. I've now learned. On stream, I started doing push-ups every time I threw the wrong move to really teach me to throw the right move. Hopping into the next game here, Magneton into Wigglytuff. So again, if you catch the Charmer up front, you want to stay in. I like to build up to two Magnet Bombs and attempt fast move denial because you'll get to two before they get to a charge move. Going for the Magnet Bomb here, gets the shield. I'm able to double up and let's see if they let it through. And they do. So now we have switch advantage and shield, although we are going to give up switch as soon as they come in. They come in with the Snorlax, I switch out to my Dragonair, and there is a second Dragon Counter in back. So switching out and giving up switch advantage if you hard win lead is exceedingly important. Because I was able to bait out the Lapras, I landed the Dragon Pulse, which is fantastic. Now I can safely no shield this. I'll be able to farm down with Dragonite. I'll only have to take... Sorry, I'll farm down with Dragonair. My apologies, <laughs> misspoke there. And now we're just going to have a really great matchup against the Snorlax. We're able to get the shield. I can come in with Dragonite and two shields, and my opponent resigns the match. So good game to my opponent there. Yeah, I have been um, messing up Dragonair and Dragonite all day, so apologies there. <laughs> Hopping into the next match here. All right. Taking a little long there, and we catch a Venusaur lead. They're going to safe swap into Dugong. So an interesting play, bringing a water type into an electric. But hey, that's their safe swap. That works. We are going to take the shield, and we're going to let the Icy Wind through. Icy Wind actually does a surprising amount. So for the future, I might recommend shielding it, just because Magneton is exceedingly frail. We go for the Discharge. We do land it, and we're going to swap into our Dragonair on the charge move. We shield it up. Unfortunately, they threw a Water Pulse, so I don't know why he would throw a Water Pulse, but oh well. We were able to farm it down, and our switch timers are askew, but we're able to keep switch. And now a Lapras comes out. So now we know all three of their Pokemon, and we'll be able to line it up. Again, we land the Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is definitely the way to go. We're able to get it low. Magneton comes in, and we're just using Magneton as a shield at this point, because Dragonite's going to be able to sweep, and Dragonite is able to farm down, and now it's Dragonite versus Venusaur, and this is pretty straightforward from here. We just build up to two Dragon Claws, and we're able to throw those back to back, the first to get the shield, and the second to KO. It's shield, and that second one is going to KO. And so those are some battles from my stream earlier today, really featuring this double dragon team. I think it's exceedingly strong in this current meta. Dragon breath damage can really add up over time. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Now let me know down in the comments what teams you've been running and how the Kanto Cup's been going for you. Thank you as always for watching. If you're new and you enjoyed the content, definitely consider subscribing. It's free and helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.